Hello everybody, I want to share with you my first Agile Agent marketing technique. This is very innovative, cutting edge, and my favorite part, low cost and incredibly effective. Now, if you're in a market like mine, you may not have a lot of inventory. And there are many homeowners that might be interested in selling if they only knew that there was someone built in ready to buy the home. So I'm going to share with you a, again, low-cost, effective marketing technique. It involves mail, but in this case you should be expecting about 1 in 15 to 1 in 20 uh, mailings to generate a phone call for a listing appointment. So let's see what we need here for this. You'll see I'm holding a blue pen. I'd recommend either blue or red, not black. Important that it be a different color other than black. Okay, And then we're going to have a yellow notepad. The specific kind of paper is very important. I will share that with you in just a moment. And your good old fashioned piece of white paper. You probably already have that. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to first <clears throat> craft our master letter. And you'll see I'm aligning the white paper on top of the yellow, pressing hard so I can see the yellow lines in between. And I'm going to say something like, uh, I have two buyers that want to buy in your neighborhood. Maybe something like that. Now you can use a whole bunch of different approaches. You can say, I have a cash buyer. You can say, I want to buy your home. You can say, I just sold a home in your area and I have other buyers that couldn't get it. They do want another home. And then your call to action. Okay, But here's the important point. We're going to take this one letter that you hand wrote. We're going to turn it into multiple casually written hand written letters. So let's go over to the copier and see how we make that. All right, so here we are now next to the multifunction printer. Okay, I've got the piece of paper that I wrote on. I'm going to actually replace this with a longer version that I wrote. It's stressing, just sold a home in your area, and I've got people that are wanting, as you can see here, the same floor plan as yours, so please give me a call right away. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this version that I did hand write, I'm going to lay it on the flatbed color scanner. It's important that it be color. Then I'm going to take one piece of paper. Now I'm going to just demo on one, but you can do these in batches of five or ten at a time. Okay? I'm going to put it in the paper tray. I'm going to make a color copy. So as I was mentioning earlier, this paper must be very particular. Most yellow pads are very lightweight paper, and if you put that into your printer, you're going to have a lot of paper jams. You might even destroy the printer. So it needs to be 20 pound paper. The only kind I've found that I can say for sure works is Topps brand Docket Gold 20 pound yellow paper. I found it by going onto Amazon and typing in 20 pound yellow lined paper. Okay. Also important is the kind of machine you're using to do this. It needs to be a multifunction, color, otherwise our blue ink won't matter much, color scanner and copier. As you can see on this machine, I use both of those features. Also very important, it should be an inkjet. It should not be laser. Laser will make a great print, but it's not going to look likely handwritten. Inkjet will look handwritten. In particular, the model I'm using for this is the HP Office Jet Pro 8600. That's one of many. Came highly recommended. Let's see what it did for us. So I've got a letter. You can see it's written in blue ink. You can see it's on my yellow lined paper. And I'm telling you, whether on the computer screen or in real life, there's no way you would not know that this was not really handwritten. So this way you can send multiple handwritten letters. You can change your message to whatever you want. Okay. Now, last component is, I'm going to pull it up. <clears throat> I'm going to put it in a envelope, a very casual, everyday type of envelope. <clears throat> in fact, when I put it in here, you're going to see, you can even see through the envelope enough to know, of course my folding wasn't correct, to know that there's something yellow and very casual written inside. And you'll notice the front is handwritten address, return address is on the back. I'm going to put a regular stamp on here. And 
you can see also, you can see that yellow lined paper. It looks very casual. Now you tell me, would you open something like this if it came in your mailbox? I don't open most pieces of mail, I would probably open this. Then I'm going to open it, I'm going to see somebody took the time to hand write a letter to me. Oh my goodness, it might be as easy as a phone call and I could sell my house. So that's our tip for today, Agile Agent, how to get listing leads.